Hello guys, in this video I will transform one of our projects from using Vue.js to using Livewire in almost live mode. So now we have a Vue.js component of coupons and by the end of this video we will have a Livewire component and I will explain you everything along the way. I'm not sure if you know but we have a dedicated page for all the coupons for Laravel daily projects. The discount depends on country based on purchasing power parity and this is public. You can see the URL on the screen and I can link that in the description below as well and it has been created a few years ago with Vue.js. The logic is the page is loaded empty and then the list of coupons is in the Vue.js component with empty values in the beginning. So data percent and data coupon codes by project. Then on mounted, the actual data is parsed from the get request from the server. Until then, there's loading component for a fraction of a second. So let's transform that into Livewire. First, we install Livewire, which is really easy, just compose a require. And in the version 3, they removed the Livewire styles and Livewire scripts. So we don't need to do anything in the blade. We can immediately start creating Livewire components. So we need one component of coupons, which would contain all the logic. So let's do PHP Artisan, make Livewire coupons like this, and it will create two files the Livewire class, PHP class, and then the blade file for it. Then we open the blade file and for now let's add to be done here the text and show that Livewire component in the blade alongside the Vue.js. So we do Livewire coupons, the name of the component like this. And now if we refresh the page, this was the page locally from undetected country and we refresh and we see that to be done text here, which means Livewire is successfully installed and activated. Now let's make it actually show the real data. So we take the template part of Vue.js component. So each Vue.js component consists of template and script and template basically means HTML. So whatever is inside of that div is actually HTML with Vue.js variables and operations. And we need to copy that into blade of Livewire with one difference. In the view version, we have vshow is loading true or false to load the component of preloading before the data comes from the server. In Livewire case, we will do it differently. So we copy only the inner part of data. I think it's until this div and then in the coupons blade, we paste it here. Actually, this is unnecessary probably. Yeah, correct. Next, we need to replace Vue.js variables with dollar sign with PHP and Livewire variables. And we'll do that just by replacing data with dollar sign everywhere. So whenever we see data dot, we can just perform a multi replace of data dot to dollar replace all. And here's the list of variables. And we need to define those variables in the coupons class of Livewire, which we haven't touched yet. It resides in app Livewire coupons PHP. What it does for now, it just renders that blade, but it needs to have those variables as properties of the component itself. So we'll go public, for example, string country name like this, which would automatically be accessible in the blade here on top. So we don't need to pass them manually in the view. And while browsing the blade code, I've identified that we have variables of percent. And then for each of the project, we have dollar filament example, dollar QAP, which stands for quick admin panel. So I've identified these variables and added them to the live wire component. Those are all empty for now, but let's refresh the page. We refresh and now we have two sets of data. This one from Livewire without data, without percentage, without coupon codes. And the one below is from Vue.js. Next, we'll render the country name. And I already pasted this part. So the video would be a bit shorter. You wouldn't see me live typing because it doesn't really matter what's here because it's internal logic of the project which wouldn't be applied to your projects of Livewire. What you need to understand here is that this logic is for filling in this country name property. And there's logic of purchasing power parity, which is PPP, and you can read about that elsewhere online. But basically, each country has its own numbers, which then we convert to percentage of discount. So we get the IP of a person and then get the country from IP using external API request. So there is a private function and we remember that in the cache. I'm not entirely sure if it would work from my local machine. I guess it wouldn't and it would return undetected country. So now we have that country name filled. And now if we refresh, we have undetected country here. 
Again, for this demo, it doesn't matter that it's undetected because it's internal logic of coupons and I would fix that later. What matters for you is that it is live wire variable. And now let's fill in all the percentages and the coupon codes. And this part is actually easy. In the render method, in the same render method, I added a few if statements. I'm kind of showing you behind the scenes of what logic do we use for percentage. So discount may be from 10 to 40% depending on the country and its index of PPP. And we'll fill in all the percent and all the codes from the config. It's not in the database because we don't change those coupons often and there's no need to have another database query and then admin panel or anything. It's just config. And now if we refresh that page, we see the numbers, 10% and coupon codes that come from the config. And now the final part, the loading. Do you remember that we haven't copied that part? Livewire has an elegant solution for it. So when loading your Livewire component in the blade, you may define lazy. With that lazy in the component itself, you define a function called placeholder. I've pasted it from my notes. So placeholder is a string with whatever HTML or text you want to see on the screen while the component is not fully loaded. And that fully loaded is defined in a method called mount. It's kind of like constructor of Livewire components. So we define public function mount, and then we will move that data preparation logic from render to mount. So render will just load the view blade, but the data itself would be queried in the mount. And after that mount is over, that placeholder will be gone and will render the view blade. To demonstrate that in action, let's actually add a sleep here for one second. Sleep one and also let's remove the Vue.js altogether from here and refresh the page. Refresh and we see an error. And of course each live wire component in the blade needs to start with div component like root component with all the HTML inside. But what I didn't do is I didn't specify that div inside of placeholder which is also required. So div and only then inside the loading or whatever text you want. Now let's refresh and we see loading and we see the data afterwards. If, for example, we change that sleep to three seconds, so it would be visually better, refresh, one, two, three, and then the data should appear, yes. So yeah, that's it. We transformed Vue.js component into Livewire. Again, I skipped on some details on how PPP works. An external HTTP request is undetected country, but that's not the point. With this video, I hope to show you the difference between Vue.js and Livewire components. For those of you who are familiar with Vue.js and want to maybe switch to Livewire and Tallstack, or at least try it out in some new project. If you have any more questions about it, ask them in the comments below. And if you want to dive deep into Livewire, I have a separate course, Livewire 3 from scratch, with 30 lessons with many more Livewire features, not just the ones that I showed you in this video. I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.